Hey folks, it's Tuesday. We continue our pastor's devotional on this day. The prayer calendar, Tuesday, April 27th, is asking us to pray for Operation Hope, which is in Kenya, that supports enhancing access to maternal child health care through advocacy. Um, and so they do some health care, some emergency treatment, some reproductive health at uh, that site. And so we pray for for that community um, and for that work and for the people who are supporting that work and the people who are working there and the people who are being served there uh, through Operation Hope. Um, you know, in, in some parts of the world, uh, they don't have medicine at all. In some parts of the world, they have medicine that only pays attention to certain kinds of people. And in some parts of the world, the kind of people they pay attention to is not maternal um, and prenatal health at all. And so how can we support this so that children and mothers can be healthy and whole upon birth and we have fewer and fewer com complications, which just in the end lead to, uh, you know, those those birthing complications just lead to a whole host of complications throughout uh, life. And so we support that work. Uh, in the Gospel of John, chapter 5, invite you to turn over there. John, chapter 5, verses 2 through 8. John 5, 2 through 8. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called in Hebrew, Beth Zatha, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. What a, a story. This is one of my favorites, actually, in, in all the scriptures. Um, this man who people had just stepped over and walked and ignored and not paid attention to and got in front of for years, 38 years he was there. Um, and there was no one, you mean there was no one who was willing to just, you know, scoot him to the side of the pole and push him in? He couldn't get himself there? Well, I imagine there's some people in our world who feel exactly like he felt. I I can't imagine, you know, I'm white, straight guy. Uh, um, can't imagine how that feels. Um, unfortunately, there are people in our world who know exactly how that feels. Um, and thinking about uh, maternal health and prenatal health in third world countries, um, I can imagine uh, that some of those folks could feel from time to time pushed aside, not cared about, um, and relegated uh, to be nothing. And so um, the prayer on this day for Operation Hope in Kenya uh, made me think of this passage. So if you're the ones who have been relegated to the side, pushed out, forgotten, I want you to know that here in our church where we see you and we're trying to see more people just like you. Um, and if you are one like me who stands in the center uh, with great opportunity and privilege, um, I pray that this day uh, it might be brought to your eyes who it is that you might be able to lift up and help into a healing place. God bless. Have a great day.